Hi everyone, welcome to the NAND Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to resolve connectivity issues when an ESXi host cannot connect to the network. Okay, this is one of the common issue. Uh, generally, we may occur when we are working on a multiple ESXi host virtual environment. So let me connect to our lab. Let's say one of our ESXi hosts, as we are planning to troubleshoot, ESXi host cannot connect to the network. Let's say generally when the ESXi host is cannot connect, the common troubleshooting is we can verify the ESXi host ping status. Let's say our current ESXi host is 192.168.243.9. This is the current ESXi host can, unable to connect to our network. If you see here, the initial troubleshooting is we can verify the ESX ping status. When we see the ping status, host is unreachable state. Suppose the nearby host, let's say another ESX host IP address is eight. Eight is reachable state. Suppose if I'm checking the ESX seven, ESX IP seven is reachable state. For example, 10 is reachable state. If you see all IP addresses are 192.168.243.10, the same series IP 7 also reachable and even the 8 also reachable. But our problematic ESX host on the same network and the IP address is 9, when we're trying to connect the ESX host, host is unreachable state. And even when we're trying to access the ESX host homepage, when we see HTTPS, 192.168.243.9. When we're trying to the ESXi host homepage, it's unable to access. Okay, this is the issue. How we can troubleshoot is the initial troubleshooting is verifying the ping status. It is currently unreachable state. And what the another step is log into the ESXi host ILO and verify the system health status. Some scenarios, there may be a hardware issue. Currently, this ESX scenario host hardware is health status is okay. And then we can verify the another level, verify the server, remote service console status. Is the server is hung state or any of the PSOD? In our previous sessions, I talk about when we have a PSOD, we can reset. But let's observe. This ESX have a PSOD or what's the status? When we see the console from the ESX host, we notice that ESX host status is healthy only. We can see ESX is running, ESX set 09 and IP address is 243.9. Okay. And Another troubleshooting step is we have to verify that whether IP settings are correct or not. IP settings means IP address, subnet mask, gateway, and DNS. So I'm going to validate those settings. So once we log into the console, we can go to the configure management network and verify the IP address. Let's say select IPv4 configuration, press enter, we can see IPv4, IP address is okay, subnet mask okay, and default gateway is correct. So some key scenarios in case of any incorrect configuration of IP settings, if there is any typo in the subnet mask or default gateway, we may occur this connectivity issue. But currently our scenario, IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, everything is fine. But still, when we are checking the ping status, we are unable to access. So for this scenario, we have to coordinate our network team. And when we ask the network team, network team say, this ESX host connected to a physical network, physical switch, is that switch is configured with a VLAN tagging. When the when these scenarios, when the any ESX host connected to a VLAN tagging, we may end up with this kind of connectivity issues. So this scenario, the solution is only solution we need to ask our network team. If we have configured a VLAN tag, what is the VLAN number for this specific IP address? Suppose our IP address is 192.168.243 series. So when we contact network team, they give a VLAN ID. So the troubleshooting step is, the in order to resolve this one, select VLAN optional tab. Generally, VLAN is optional, but when you have a connectivity issues, the resolution is, we need to verify all this, all the step by step. 
we first we verified hardware hardware there is no issues when we verify ip settings all ip settings configured correctly but still our es access host is unreachable so the third step is we can coordinate with our network team when we coordinate with our network team they may verify in their backend and they say currently this es access host is configured with a vlan tag so the recommendation is the specific vlan number we have to enter in our es access host configuration settings so the configuration settings we can find under the configure management network there is a vlan optional but generally we keep vlan optional means we can keep it as a blank but some scenarios this kind of when you occur uh, end up with a, this kind of connectivity issues we need to enter the vlan id and even vlan we are aware vlan is nothing but a, here it's clearly given the nodes vlan is a virtual network within a physical network because several vlans can coexist on the same physical network segment so vlan configuration partition is often more flexible better isolated and less expensive than flat networks based on traditional physical topology okay if you are unsure how to configure or use a vlan it is safe to leave this option unset so this is usually we we set for a unset only but this kind when you have a connectivity issue it recommend to set the vlan id so now i am going to set the vlan id in order to set the vlan id we have to press enter to change and this network VLAN ID is 3002. Now press enter. So VLAN ID is entered. In order to save that one, press escape and we have to save the management network. See, configure management network confirm. So we have to press Y, yes. Once we yes, just press escape and back to the home screen. Now ESXi. 09 and ip address 243.9 and open a command prompt and verify the connectivity status earlier it was showing as destination host unreachable now you can try to verify the ping status again our ip address is 9 see when you see here ip address is a reachable state okay so this is how we can troubleshoot uh, some scenarios you may end up with hardware issue or some scenario ip setting and uh, here our scenario is related to the vlan tag so we need to enter vlan id number in our esx host for testing purpose now esx is reachable if you want to test it again let's say let me log into the esx host And for testing purpose, select configure management network, VLAN ID optional. I'm just removing this VLAN ID now for testing purpose. Now VLAN ID is changed to not set. So to save the settings, press escape. It will ask you to save, yes, and click on escape back to the home screen. Now I remove the VLAN ID, again verify the ping status. When you see the ping status, if you see, if no VLAN ID enter, the ESX host is currently unreachable state. It is in the request time dot. Okay, so hope you understand the solution. Just again, go back and enter the VLAN ID. Go to the configure management network and select VLAN ID and our VLAN ID is 3002. Generally, VLAN ID details, if we are unsure, we can coordinate with our network team. They will provide the VLAN ID details. So press escape and you can save the settings and escape. Now back to the home screen and verify the ping status now. 243.9, see the ESX host is reachable when after we enter the VLAN ID. And even we'll try to launch the home page. See the home page is going to launch now. See ESX host home page is launched successfully. Okay. Even to login, we can just verify the login status. Okay. Host, we are able to successfully log into the ESX host. Okay. Hope you understand the point how to resolve the connectivity issues when an ESX host cannot connect to the network. Specific to the network scenario, I shown you we need to enter a VLAN ID. Okay. Sometimes there, there are multiple scenarios. We covered one scenario now. Okay. So that's it. Thank you. If you're watching this video first time, please do view, like, share, and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you're already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.